dive note, zip go, freshwater coral or sponge. Not too sure what it is, but we're gonna see if we can recover it today. Uh, we got a couple of dive masters out this afternoon. We're gonna check a few wrecks. We're kind of excited to do all the things. So while we're down at the dock, uh, we're getting ready to go out and dive and look for this coral or sponge. We ended up uh, bumping into Corey here and we just started talking to him. And Corey's actually here from the University of Windsor. And sorry, Corey, tell me exactly what you do. So we're extracting what's called environmental DNA from the water. Um, my primary focus is tracking invasive species using genetic methods, DNA. Um, but we're also trying to answer several other questions like, can we use environmental DNA instead of traditional methods like netting? So the ministry comes in here, sets a lot of nets, kills a lot of fish to try to determine what's here and how many. Now, by comparing my genetic methods to their netting data, can we be as accurate or more accurate than their nets? Right. That's one of the questions that we're trying to answer using this new method. Perfect. And then this is your testing process here? Yeah, so this is called the Osmos eDNA sampler. Uh, comes out of Hall Tech, out of Guelph, Canadian Maine, and it's pretty much <laughs> a scientific pump. Um, now, I've kind of had to jimmy rig this smaller piece onto it. It has a longer pole that you can just really dip right into wherever you're sampling. But um, it'll tell me how much water it pulls through the filter, um, what the temperature of the water is, and at what pressure, which will be important once we take that back to the lab and start comparing it to other samples that we've used the backpack for. All right, perfect. And for people maybe watching this on YouTube, if they wanted to find out more information about this or some of the findings that you guys do, where would they go? Yeah, right on. So the, the project that I'm actually funded under is called GenFish, G-E-N dot fish dot C or you can check out GLIR, so the Great Lakes Institute for Environmental Research at the University of Windsor. Awesome, buddy. Awesome. Yeah, yeah no, that's <laughs> that, that's really cool. So, as you guys can see, uh, in the background for Lake Simcoe, uh, there's a lot of stuff happening. Guys are diving, they're checking out the bottom. Uh, we have people like Corey um, working on this kind of water sampling and what is it, eDNA? eDNA, e I'm learning some more stuff today. Uh, and I'm sure there's all kinds of other uh, water samples and testing going on around the lake so this is really great to see to kind of keep our fishery in uh, good health so uh, say thanks to Corey I'll let him get back to work and we'll be off shortly for the dive yeah, right on. all right thanks buddy Cheers. thank you all set to go buddy yep. all right I don't know if this is the most weight this boat's had I've had a lot of salmon in <laughs> tanks are heavy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the tanks. It's the tanks. Be famous. <laughs> Dave Davidson, and you own Barry Scuba House. Barry Scuba House, and you are Daniel. Daniel Bell. Bell. And how do you know Dave here? Uh, I'm just a guy that dives with him all the time. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, diving with a buddy, that's always safe. That's right. I've done a lot of dives on myself, by myself, and I yeah. shouldn't have been doing that, so. <laughs> all right, so if you guys are looking for any kind of dive gear, what kind of stuff do you guys specialize in? We uh, we carry most most products, and uh, we're starting to specialize in that technical, uh, technical, technical gear. Okay, and for someone going in, where, what do you see that you sell the most of in that store? That you see like the most common or most common popular products? Right? Yeah. Uh, I would think uh, they'd be our Atomic or Bear products or okay. most pro popular ones. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, I know for myself, I've used a lot of the Bear products, awesome stuff. Um, so if you guys are looking for any kind of scuba equipment, uh, definitely check out when you said it was with And what? Very Scuba House. Very Scuba House, there you go. All right guys, let's go. Yeah, so you've seen this stuff in Georgian Bay? Yeah, I've, uh, when you mentioned it to me, it sounded like the exact same thing that I saw in Georgian Bay. It's a white spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've never seen it before. Out here. Now that's the first time you've seen it. Georgian first time I've seen it, yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, because I've fished out here a ton. And on water cameras and the GoPros and spending a lot of time. I just noticed it like probably a couple years ago. I was reviewing some fish and they like they're coming in getting baits and stuff and then there was like a wall between my kids and I was looking in the background like what the heck is this stuff? Yeah. And then when I moved, when I went the next day when I moved, I could really like notice it. It was like a coral formation. But with the saline level, like we don't have this high saline level here, so it won't be coral, it'll probably be a sponge. So 
Who knows? And you send Dave pictures then? Yeah, I send Dave pictures because Dave's a dive master. So he, Dave's got, how many dives you got in this year? Uh, hundreds. Hundreds. Hundreds, wow. hundreds, yeah. yeah. And how often have you seen this kind of like coral or sponge? Just uh, just once or twice. And just all. recently? Just recently, within the uh, last several months, whatever it was, yeah. Wow, okay, yeah. okay. He just wants to see if I get cold first. <laughs> hey, make sure your zipper's done up today. Yeah, I know. Trust <laughs> me, I did. <laughs> Stop right there. Everything. Everything's covered in that. Let's see what it is. I hope I don't get some type of disease. Oh, it's hard. Is it? Yeah, it's man. like a sea sponge. It looks like a sponge, kind of like what that guy was saying. But it's moving. You have to take like this, dude. That's cool. And then where are you sending this to? This is going to go down to the University of Guam. I got to put this in now. I'm like an alcoholic, so I don't even care what they say to preserve it, but I just yeah. have to help for now, so we've got enough of it, they all be able to take a sample and figure out what it is. Yes. Right on. The biggest, the biggest chunk in there. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, look at that thing. Wiggle your hand a little bit. Like it's like it's, it's kind of solid, eh? Yeah, it's it's definitely solid. It's all porous. Yeah. Hmm. So wild. Wow. That's good. That's sweet, man. 